Good morning, Appleton North, and welcome to today's episode of The Spark. For Wednesday, April 29th. Now let's see who's celebrating their birthday today. A special happy birthday today to Trinity Schaefer. Our only birthday today at Appleton North. Happy birthday, Trinity. Hey Appleton North, it's Mrs. Shinaki. I just wanted to make a quick video to say I miss all of you so much. I wish we were back in school. I can't wait to see you next year. Uh, but my video today is that I wanted to share with you a recipe that uh, is kind of my midday pick-me-up, especially now. We need stuff that makes us feel positive and good uh, and also keeps us healthy. So I am sharing with you guys today my fruit smoothie recipe. I hope you enjoy. All right, so first things first, we need to get our ingredients. So I uh, love to jam pack my fruit smoothies. So you can choose, I've got a mixture of either fruit blend. So this one includes pineapple chunks, strawberries, mango, and peaches. This is my go-to. Or I sometimes flip between this. We got an antioxidant fruit blend. That's going to be strawberries, uh, cherries, blueberries, pomegranate, and raspberries. So I'm going to make mine more of a tropical fruit smoothie today. We're going with this. Then, of course, I'm going to need a banana. I've got a whole pack. We only need one. Some Greek yogurt. And then my secret, a lot of people like to put milk um, in their smoothies. That's fine if you like dairy. I'm not a huge dairy person. So I put in orange juice as my liquid and it makes it taste delicious. So let's get started. First things first, we're gonna put in the frozen fruit. I don't really believe in measuring. I kind of just eye it out every single time. So, then we're going to choose one banana. Break it off. And then so it blends easier, I like to just pick apart the banana, help the blender out just a little bit. Depends on how sharp your blades are. Mine are a bit old, so we're going to help the blender out. I just squish that in there as best I can. All right, awesome. So wipe our hands off really quick. And then next, I just use plain Greek yogurt. So this is not flavored whatsoever. You can get vanilla. I used to use vanilla, but can't really taste the sweetness, whether or not it's here, and you can't taste the sourness if it's just regular. So again, I don't believe in measuring. I'm just gonna do two heaping scoops right on top. And then here comes the fun part. So looks like this is pretty full. Can't get anything else in. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to pour some orange juice in, opening that up. I like to get down just so that you can see where it's pouring. And we're gonna just about fill this smoothie cup all the way up. There. Again, this will help it blend because we have the frozen fruit. We don't want something that is really thick. We wanna be able to drink this. So I've got my orange juice in. I'm gonna go ahead put my blender cap on and we're gonna get blending. All right, so I've got my blender. I use a magic bullet just because I have these uh, single serve smoothies. So I've got this on nice and tight. I like to flip it upside down a couple times just to make sure that everything uh, is fully covered. And then we're gonna plug this in and here's where the magic happens. Take it off once, shake it up, make sure we don't get any chunks, and blend it one more time. All right guys, I'm sure this will be delicious. Let's give it a try. Oh a wonderful fruit smoothie. I hope you enjoyed today. I know it was kind of cheesy, but I hope it put a smile on your face. 
I miss you all so much, and I hope you have a great rest of your day, Appleton North. This is Mr. Pennenberg, and I approve this message.